Hey guys, I'm here with an open discussion topic just to gauge the waters to see how many people would like to kind of make responses to a video like this. It's not a video I would film a whole lot, and I'm sure this question has been asked before in the community, but it's been a while since we've done a big, um, what's the word? The community questions in that, response videos, they don't really do them anymore. I know Thrift Dwellers is still trying to uh, get them out there, but I mean, I don't know, I think you have to have a really good topic to really get people talking, so I mean, this is one that interests me personally, and I will be watching and commenting on the videos that uh, do give recommendations. But I'm just wondering, what is your hidden gem game? Everybody has you know, a few games that they've played that they've gone, man, nobody talks about this. This is really good. Why is nobody giving this game recognition? And obviously there are hundreds of videos online talking about hidden gem games, you know. Melody just rocks has built his YouTube career on them, reviewing games that everybody knows, but they're hidden gems for some reason. This is one that I um haven't seen in many, if any, videos talking about hidden gems. This is for the original Xbox. It's one that, it's not a perfect game, but it is one that I do think is well worth picking up. It is Berserk, the original Xbox. This is like a $5 game if you find it. I don't think it's super common, but you can find it online for like 5 10 bucks shipped. And it is just like The Legend of Zelda in that you play as this character who is kind of humble beginnings, you have to go out and fight enemies, and you have to, um... There are a lot of like, different worlds in the game, and it's a big open world game, so it's like... You can go to these areas, and when you go through the areas, you'll find something at the end of the area that'll allow you to unlock the next area, and then in that area, the next area, you'll find something that'll allow you to go back and do something else that you saw in the previous area that you didn't, um... weren't able to get through, so it's really cool like that. It's not like, um... Like a Legend of Zelda or a Metroid in that way. You know, as you unlock new abilities and new weapons and stuff, you do you get all of these really cool, like, unlockable things. It really shows, like, good game design. Um, yeah, you have to learn to control the elements. It's been a while since I've played it, but I do remember it being really good. The weapon is the Axion. It's a, um, like a double-ended uh, spear. Like, battle axe kind of thing, and you swing it around, it's really cool, it's a lot of fun, you can do a lot of cool combos. The worlds are really big. Graphics are pretty good for the original Xbox game, this was released in... 2001, so I mean... This was really early on in the console's lifespan, like... For, compared to other games from the time, it, it looks really good. It's just one I don't really hear a lot of talk about, and it's... Got sci-fi sci to it. It's a little bit like the movie uh, Fantastic Planet, I think it's called, or yeah, something like that. It's just a really good game. I really enjoyed it. It's been a while since I played it, but I did want to um, had to choose a game for this video, so I thought I'd choose this one. It's just really fun. You go through these big open worlds, and it's like there's this hub where you have to get um, you have to bring certain elemental things that you get at the end of each world to the hub, and at the end you go and fight this massive big boss, so it's really cool. Definitely recommend it. It's super cheap. Yeah, if you find this game, you won't pay any more than 10 bucks for it, so it's definitely worth picking up. I enjoyed it a lot, and I hope you guys give it a try. Alright, so just a way to respond to this. Just uh, maybe make a comment, or if you want to make a response video, that would be awesome too. Just make something real quick talking about you know, a hidden gem game of yours, something you really enjoy that a lot of other gamers don't talk about. It could be, um, let's have a look around. Could be detonated, no one talks about that. It's a fun game. Could be, uh, what's a really good one that I finished recently? Here we go. This is another one. This is an awesome game. Eternal Ring. This is just like our uh, King's Quest, except it's really fast-paced. It's like a first-person Dark Souls, except you use a lot more magic and there's a lot of item crafting and stuff. Check this one out, this is cool too. And you can find this, I was finding this everywhere when I was in the UK. 
when I was visiting the missus, I saw this so, so often. I mean, I must have found like five copies of this and they were all under a pound. So I was like, definitely check that one out. It's a great game. Other ones, um, there's so many. There's so many. I could pick games out of here all day. Really good. Disney's Doll Duck PK, that's an awesome game. Dog's Life is an awesome game. Nobody really talks about Dog's Life. I'm gonna play that later. I like Dog's Life. And this is really like this one too. I'm gonna play that later. Alright, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll upload this raw. And thank you for watching. If you want to make a response, make a response. If not, oh well, thanks for watching anyway. Stay safe. Have a good one.